All right, we don't want to keep you waiting. Let's uh, put this thing together, talk about the theory, and hear how it sounds. Okay, I think we got all the soldering done. I made one mistake. The way this LED goes in the case, but I'm not going to stress on it. So, let's see if we can get this guy assembled here. take the nut off of this one. One moment. Oh, knock my glasses off. All right, let's try this again. Oh. And I, I am just dangerous. Which looks like it's just a little bit off. That's better. Now we can get the. That's <laughs> the wrong one, Paul. Man, maybe I should have waited for tomorrow to do this. So, yesterday, my son, who's about to turn 16, told me he would like to take guitar lessons. And I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. I mean, number one, because I play guitar. And number two, because he'll actually you know, be doing something worthwhile, something that he can take with him for the rest of his life. So, I, we talked about what kind of guitars, you know, are available, and we looked at what's out there, you know, reasonably priced starter guitars. And he wants to start with an electric guitar, which I told him that's fine. And we got him a uh, knockoff Strat to start out with. Good all-around guitar. And there is a place not too far away from here called the Center of Music and Art. And we're going to sign him up for lessons. And I hope he enjoys it. Because I would like to, I'd like to play with him. Something that we can, you know, share together. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay. I should probably put in the input and output jacks first. 
Okay, so that's input. You have to put a mark on there so I remember. Hopefully a dry erase marker until I print something out to label that as input. So that's good and that'll wipe off. Luckily I have a lifetime supply of dry erase markers now. Now the output jack. This is a really nicely well-designed case and everything here. This is impressive. Yeah. Fumble fingers, right? Now let me screw this on and I'll be back. Alright, let's see what I can drop when I try and put the switch in. Ah, a spring washer. Told you. Try this again. Less fumbling. And yes, I will tighten these properly with a proper wrench. Hmm. Methinks my plan to use a 9 volt battery is not going to work. Dag nabbit. Alright, let me get that in there. And, uh, we'll be ready for testing. <laughs> I forgot to fix the LED. Son of a gun. It's like a... Like a comedy errors here, isn't it? There we go. Now hopefully I can get it right this time. Some of the paint starting to chip off the case there a little bit. I'm sure that that's my fault. And not the fault of the excellent designers. Because this is just a superbly designed kit here. Let's see if we can't do a little bit of soldering trickery here and get this guy back in a hole. Yeah. Doesn't want to play nice. There's too much wire anyway. Let's cut these a little short. And I'll strip them. I'll be right back. Alright, let's try her again here. Hopefully I can get it right this time. Alright, third time's a charm. There we go. Oh. She's in there. And then this one. Clean my soldering iron a little bit. And we'll just finesse that right in there.
Okay, now. I think that we can get a 9 volt in here. Right over here. Good deal. I'll have to add a switch or it'll be on all the time, but oh don't tell me it's not gonna fit. There we go. Alright, let me uh let's talk about the circuit first. Okay, so here is our first gain stage, and it's simply a non-inverting op amp with a variable voltage gain, and that is our gain control on the box and then it has a couple filters to shape the gain response and the impedance and that's that's going to be important now you notice down here there is a 2.2 meg resistor going to ground and that is our anti pop resistor that'll kind of grab a hold of those those high pops and and filter them out and then we also have uh, the input capacitor C1 here that's going to block any DC so that works good now what's really cool about this circuit is as we increase the gain the resistance is going to go down which is going to provide more signal for the second part of the circuit the uh, second stage gain so there's our second gain stage now what it has is R5 and C5 which is in our feedback loop and that's going to provide a little bit of low attenuation and also in this part of the circuit we have our crush switch which changes the resistance you see here from 220k to 470k so that's the crush switch that will that will really boost up the gain and then we have a little bit more tone shaping and we have some diode stuff going on down here and then our final stage which is controlled by the tone control we have high pass and low pass filters this is actually actually it is just a uh, is a second order filter putting these together like this there, there's another uh, DC blocking capacitor on the way out and what they've done here you notice you know we're powering this with a 9 volt battery but we see 4.5 volts 4.5 volts here they've created a nice little power supply with a voltage resistor a polarity protection diode and a capacitor so that's pretty cool it's really well designed all right we're ready to check her out got the guitar here now it's off it's in bypass mode so we should hear some clean tones. Very nice. Then we'll put it on and we should hear some crunchiness. Let's crank up the gain. Which one is the gain? I have to look over here. This is the gain. All right, let's see what we get now. That's all I dare play of of a, a known song, or a, you know, I could end up getting demonetized. <laughs> All right, all right. So she works. That's cool. Now to make it look cool, I made some water slide decals. We'll get them on there. My uh, recording setup here is not optimal. I don't have an amp here. So that was going through the computer and it was an acoustic guitar so but it works I'm so, I'm so excited by this this is so cool 
like I said in yesterday's video, I am actually building a uh, copy of a Les Paul. And um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I will uh, post some pictures of the progress at the end of this video. So stay tuned at the end to check that out. If you're so inclined. If you're not, then that's cool too. We can all just get along. Little doggies. Right? Right. All right, all right. All right, let's get some, get some water on here. <laughs> I haven't done water slide decals in quite a while. My, my foot color <laughs> did not come out so good. I should have used like a, a yellow or something maybe. Oh, wrinkles. Uh-oh. That one let go early. There we go. Not bad. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had fun putting it together. And once we get the Les Paul done, we'll have some fun playing with it too, I'm sure. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much, Eric, for sending this. Thank all the patrons. Thank everybody. Just thank you. Thank you. I love doing this YouTube channel. I love having you guys here to hang out with me. So feel free to comment, share, and please subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Thank you for all your support, everyone. 2020, I'm hoping, is going to be a great year for us. Everyone who's supported through Patreon and through PayPal donations is fantastic. Um, everybody who's bought something from the Amazon store, that's what keeps this channel going. I couldn't do it without you guys. Uh, you are a part of the team. Hey, feel free to email me, arduino0169 at gmail.com. I try and get back to just about everybody.